but I will have a video very soon on the vegan kid kids resource. I do. Look at that. The plant-based baby and toddler. That is just so sad. Sick. It's like, it's just not their choice. They probably spat out so many different foods and she has to force feed them these foods like eat your veg, eat your fruit. And they're probably like all these imitation meats because it's like conning your kids into eating meat, but it's not meat. It's... Ignorance is bliss. She's obviously fortunate enough to have gotten away with it for I don't know how long she's been on this diet. Unfortunately, her kids have been on it all their lives, so they don't know anything other than what dessert is. Okay, so vegan mum gets life in prison for starvation death of son. This article was sent to me and then there was a link to this video. And so we have a vegan here and her channel is called Unnatural Vegan. So she's quite happy to promote the fact that her diet is just highly processed. So um, let's have a look what she's got to say about this. Whenever a case of vegan kids and malnourishment happens, vegan YouTubers and educators get bombarded with demands that we talk about it, uh, with the implication or even the direct accusation that like we're afraid to, like we're afraid it'll make veganism look bad or will expose veganism. And this recent case is no different. Even I was tagged by someone, I think it was on YouTube, saying something to the effect of like, of course you're not talking about it, me and a, and a bunch of other vegan YouTubers. Like, really? It doesn't matter whether you're talking about it or not. I mean, in a way, if you're going to create a channel and you're a vegan and she's kind of advocating this way of life, then in a way it's your duty. Like you can't really act surprised when someone's tagging you in something. It may be that someone's confused over some information about veganism and, and people turn to these influences. That's, that's kind of the, the duty, her responsibility that she's, she's chose to have. So, and bacon is good for you, but bacon is bad too. What's bad about bacon? Essential fats, essential proteins. It's uh, not a highly processed food, especially considering she calls herself an unnatural vegan. So it's basically pork, right? And it's cured with salt. We've been doing that for millions of years. Of all the vegan YouTubers, I can say pretty confidently that I have talked the most. The fact that she's got a, a card up there, why are so many vegan kids malnourished? I mean, the fact that that is even a thing, like, yeah, you, you may have to address that then. Why, why are so many kids that are vegan malnourished? It's because they're essentially starving themselves. You won't find that um, with a young infant who eats an animal-based diet, so. About vegan kids and malnutrition, talking about cases like- Vegan kids, I mean, it's, they're not vegan kids, they're vegan slaves. This one, uh, actually calling out vegan YouTubers for not taking it seriously, or even for feeding their own children inappropriately. So yeah. I mean, I feel like that's criminal, to be honest with you. Criminal! It sucks that people don't have to kind of meet a criteria to uh, spread their seed, but sometimes you've obviously got these people that are brainwashed. They think that they know best for their children. And it's not even, I don't know her name. Um, it's not even this woman's fault. It's certainly not her kid's fault, right? Her kids are just potential. Um, so they're potentially what? And she's going to stick them on a vegan diet and they're going to be starving. They're going to be malnourished. And she's calling herself unnatural vegan. That's what I don't understand is that she's quite happy to spread the word about highly processed vegan foods. If you're going to accuse someone of not talking about an issue or being afraid to talk about an issue, maybe do like a quick search to, to verify that. <laughs> just a thought. I've even said... Here's just a thought. I mean, you can talk about it all you want, but it's if you're not saying meaningful things that are helpful, then it's just toxic information. Like, your children are going to pay for it, most likely. You know, you seem to be getting away with it right to a point, um, questionably. Um, but every generation is exposed to more and more of a toxic world. And uh, things are just getting uglier and uglier in the way our health is deteriorating. Younger and younger, we're getting these kind of pernicious diseases earlier, it seems, like a decade before my mum and dad. And then I was a decade before, like if I had children, um, they were on a vegan diet. I mean, what, are they going to get diagnosed with something in their teens? Um 
said, I don't like, I really cringe at the idea of parents feeding their kids a vegan diet without the help of a knowledgeable dietitian. Dietitian. That doesn't exist in nature. No. How is it that humans require professional help on what we should eat? Nothing in nature is confused about what they should be consuming, yet humans are like baffled over it. I'm so confused. This is crazy to me. Um, wow, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're seeking help um, over what you should be eating, then maybe you shouldn't have a YouTube channel um, encouraging those foods that you eat because you don't even know whether it's correctly indicated. Who actually understands vegan diets for kids, which, you know, probably not very easy to find. Part of the reason I say this is because so many of the online resources so for upsetting. vegan kids, for feeding kids a vegan diet, which I would guess is how most people are going to learn about vegan nutrition for kids. How would you, we don't need to learn about what to eat. Well, apparently so we do. I mean, but you need to be taught, like you need to be shown what food is, I think. Oh it's online. God. Uh, is lacking. Very few resources mention iodine, for instance. In the, eggs? The reason I don't talk about every case of neglect, which is what this is, it's it's neglect, is because I don't want to. I mean, would you? Would you want to talk about a child starving to death? Probably not. I would. I think it's pretty important. I think we should talk about that. I would love to talk to you about it live and see why you don't have a problem with giving your kids highly processed foods. Right? I mean, you just contradicted yourself, more surely. More importantly, it's more of the same. Every single time this happens, it's not a vegan diet. It is a particular, very strict vegan diet. It's a so it's a vegan diet. <laughs> a vegan diet without B12 supplementation. B12 is absent among the plant world. If you're saying that you can't be healthy, I wouldn't you know, encourage that you raise your child on a strict vegan diet. Just give them B12 which exists in animal products. There's not one plant that has B12, so. Either the mother is breastfeeding and not consuming B12 herself via Ford. Women don't even make vitamin D in their breast milk now, which is um, a product of veganism, really, eating more plant-based foods, things like soy. All soy products are just so damaging on the endocrine systems. So all your hormones aren't balanced, they're not regulated correctly. It's why women miss their menstrual cycle, it's why they have PCOS. I was talking to a teen that has PCOS, I think she was like 19, the other day. I mean, like, how is that possible? And then I asked, do you eat a lot of meat? And she said, no, I'm a vegan. I mean... Certification or supplementation, or it's an older child who is not getting B12 via their foods, not receiving a supplement, or... B12 in foods exists in meat eggs, butter, animal products, it's absolutely mandatory to have B12. So it's kind of case closed on the whole vegan agenda, really, just on the health side of things. New Year! Let's go, Ace! New Year! Like in this case, where the child, Ezra, was eating raw fruits and vegetables and breast milk. A little aside, but I really appreciate the Seattle Times for acknowledging this in their headline. There's no mention even of vegan. It's just what the child was fed. Yes, so. exactly. Yes. Not enough animal products. Like you don't feed your kids any animal products. So how are you any better? Because you give them B12 in a supplement form? That's insane. So, yeah. Thanks. Whoever wrote that headline. Thank you. That's not to make light of the situation or to imply that veganism it's really, has really nothing, upsetting. absolutely nothing to do with it. I mean, look, there are vegans who... I'm sorry, it's not like she doesn't want the best for her kids. I'm sure like 99.999% of all women who have children want the absolute best for them. But clearly this, she doesn't know how to think right. She doesn't know how to function. And uh, maybe it's a lot to do with the fact that she isn't feeding the brain correctly believe it is appropriate to feed children raw vegan diets so if yeah, it's vegan. not fit for a child why would it be fit for an adult it just doesn't make any yeah, sense does it has at least something to do with it but clearly there's much more much much more going on here which is another reason i don't talk about this much but you talk about it the most apparently. who is it for like who is a help. video like this for you, uh, i'm just preaching to the choir really you all know this is terrible vegan or not you all know 
This is terrible. Even if you thought that raw produce... You're doing the exact same thing. You're feeding them the same diet, essentially. doesn't matter if some's raw, some's not like, oh, oh, you know, we know not to feed them raw. That's crazy. Like, a vegan diet is a vegan diet. It's, it's always going to be devoid of essential nutrients so you can thrive as a human being. And as a baby, you're growing. It's so vital to be consuming nutrient-dense foods that's in favour of you growing and, and having the proper hormonal functioning. You know, it seems to govern so much in health. Um, the fact that they consume so many kind of like soy products and things like that, it's just going to mess with their, their endocrine system. And breast milk was an appropriate diet for a child. You would not starve your child. You would not feed your child. Well, you would. I'm sorry, but you have been doing it, right? Diet to the point of starvation. The vast majority of people, even people eating a fringe diet like that, would stop if they got even an inkling that the diet was harmful, was hurting their kid. You wouldn't lose custody of one child because of malnourishment, only to go on to malnourish your other three children to the point where one of them dies. Ezra was 18. If you didn't know better, you would think she was on our side, you know, but she's a vegan and she's calling herself unnatural vegan. I bet I'm going to go check out what she actually eats. But I'm guessing it's probably a ton of soy products, um, like pea proteins and powders and just like lots of dessert and sugar and stuff. Once like and that. weighed only 17 pounds. Just to give you some idea of how small that is, my about two month old weighs over 11 pounds. <laughs> This is someone, well, two people, mother and father, but particularly the mother, given the, the past case as well. That's irrelevant. The, if they're both vegan, it's the same the thing. Mother, I, don't, I don't care father, what sex you are, what gender you are. The oldest child. Someone with serious mental health issues who should not be in charge of children. Well, unfortunately, there's no control over who becomes a parent. So, um, And you're quite happy to feed your kids an unnatural vegan Diet, like, and wow. hopefully she won't be. She received a life sentence. I don't know about parole, um, and I'm not saying that's a just sentencing. I, I really don't what, know. Just because she didn't feed them B12? Like, what is she? I don't really understand her point. So she should have given them iodine and B12 supplements, and then she's all good. Uh, I don't really understand. But, you know, she had a second chance. Again, she already lost custody of a child. Yeah, clearly she's criminal. She was instructed to go to parenting classes. Clearly, she learned nothing for whatever. Again, nothing in nature needs training about how to parent their infant, right? It's, it's, it's absurd. Reason she did it yet again. So if the sentencing keeps her away from kids, you know, that's a good thing. And again, it's not just her, even though we love to blame the mom, the father is just as responsible. Yeah, I don't care whether you're a guy. waiting trial on these same charges, along with two counts. I just don't think it's a good idea to promote veganism in children. Like, first of all, they're not born vegans. They're made vegans. Um, it's, just not, it's just not fair, is it? Because they're not going to develop properly. It's of molestation, nice family. And just to be clear, I do believe a vegan diet can be healthy for kids. I would No, uh, impossible. It's mission impossible. It's absolutely impossible. You're not getting um, all your essential proteins. That's a fact. You're not getting all your essential fats. That's a fact. You are devoid of B12. That's a fact. Heme iron, your ALA equivalent of your uh, omega-3. It's not. It's not. Uh, biologically, it's barely omega-3. It doesn't get converted to DHA. Um, is like roughly 17% absorbed. So you are malnourished. You are starving your children, which is the reason why that, that baby lost their life. So how are you any different other than the fact that you've pointed out iodine and B12? Feed my children vegan. If I didn't think that, I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old who have been you're vegan a criminal. since birth and yeah, have you're also had a criminal. no criminal. health issues other than like colds, Not no yet. I really hope that they... they don't get into trouble with their health, obviously, because it's just not their fault. And I'm not against, I think the wall's been pulled over people's eyes, you know, and it, this is obviously true of this woman here. The fact that she's got a channel and she's she's happy to call herself. And she's got 251,000 subscribers. That's incredible. That shows you, doesn't it? I mean, there's just no, like, I feel like there's no brain cells 
going on in this house thrive or anything like that i think the worst probably was when three-year-old chipped their tooth didn't i talk about that i think that happened when i did the what i eat in a week video oh, new baby is that a pretty bad case of baby acne so there you go i talked about it for those i started eating meat all my acne just disappeared so um yeah uh, curious or wondering i'm asked about it a lot but i will have a video very soon on the vegan kid kids resource i oh man look at that the plant-based baby and toddler that is just so sad it's like it's just not their choice they probably had to take a million pictures of that that kid right there to look happy you know <laughs> That baby just wants animal products. They, they probably spat out so many different foods and she has to force feed them these foods like eat your veg, eat your fruit. And they're probably like all these imitation meats because it's like conning your kids into eating meat, but it's not meat. It's just... I know this steak doesn't exist. Recommend it's this awesome book, so I'll have a video going into more detail on that. So you need a book apparently to to be a fit mother, to be a vegan, and to allow your child to live that vegan life. You know, you, it requires a book or a dietitian's advice. That to me just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You don't need a book to eat animal products and thrive. You know, that's the human diet. We know that isotope testing. Just have a look at the the studies. It's basically definitive. I think any scientist would agree. It's like 70, 80% uh, ruminant fatty meat. But obviously, I mean, you don't have to watch the video. Just get the book. <laughs> the Kindle version is only 14 bucks on Amazon. If every vegan parent were required to read this book, I would feel very differently about... That just says it all. She's happy as long as everybody is exposed to this book. So whoever wrote this book, by the way, as a human being, probably doesn't know anything about food, nutrition, science, physiology, biochemistry, anthropology, ancestry. Like, whoever wrote this book has obviously been brainwashed or they have an agenda where they, they profit and benefit through, you know, selling produce, selling sugary nonsense and um, all these supplements that they have to take because where are your, you know, 14, 15, 16 different micronutrients that you become deficient in? I've spoken to a lot of vegans recently um, and they're all suffering with the health. I mean, I turned my health around um, in like three weeks completely, just eating nothing but meat and eggs. And she's obviously fortunate enough to have gotten away with it for I don't know how long she's been on this diet. Unfortunately, her kids have been on it all their lives, so they don't know anything other than what dessert is. What about second breakfast? I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. They're addicted to sugar and carbohydrates. Um, and it's just really sad, like their future looks kind of grim, in my opinion. Vegan kids. Anyway, thank you for Vegan watching, kids. everybody. I hope you um, enjoyed it, I guess. Ooh. I don't know if enjoy is the right word. Yeah. I hope you got something out of it. And again, I'll have that uh, review up pretty soon, hopefully in the next few weeks or so. And yeah, new video soon. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I really wouldn't recommend you buy that book or just put your kids on a vegan diet as long as they take B12 and iodine supplements. That's just absurd to me. None of it makes any sense. She just doesn't make any sense. She just doesn't realize that she's contradicting herself and that by calling herself unnatural vegan, that's the bit that I can't. I'm going to go check out what, what she actually eats. But there you go. Just a short one. Cheers, guys.